look at the sins of Sodom and Gomorrah. And before we point fingers, because the revolutionary moment when we think about Sodom and Gomorrah, we think about homosexuality. Yes, that's involved with Sodom and Gomorrah. But there are other sins of Sodom and Gomorrah, and we're going to compare those to the sins of America today. And this is going to be more status and numbers, more than a biblical lesson. So we take our Bibles to Genesis 19, verse 5. And they called unto Lot and said unto him, Where are the men, angels, which came in thee this night? Lot had brought some two men into his house. For the night, comfort them. The, it was night time, they're on their journey. Bring them out unto us that we may know them. That know is sexually known. And Joseph did not know Mary until she uh, gave birth, I'm not quoting correctly, to Jesus Christ. So the men of Lot came out. To, to Lot and said those two men those two strangers bring them out here we want to have sex with them verse 9 they said stand back they said again this one fellow came to sojourn Lot and he will need to be judged Lot now we will do worse with thee and with them and they pressed sore upon the man even Lot that came to near to break the door you got a home invasion Involved here. In Genesis nineteen nine, you have a home invasion. All right, attempted home invasion in the United States, two thousand eighteen. Six six hundred and eighty five thousand seven hundred sixty six home invasions. It ain't just Sodom and Gomorrah, my friend. 56.7 were forcible entry, like we just saw in Genesis 19.9. And 36.7, uh, unlawful entry. And then 60% of that involves a break. That's what they wanted to do to the two men that visit Lot and came under Lot's house. When, they, when Lot wouldn't bring them out, they're going to forcibly break the door down and they're going to enter into the house and they're going to rape those men and we have statics of 2018 and I guarantee there are statics of 2021 in America. So we have verse 11. Genesis nineteen eleven. And they smote the men that were at the door, the angels smote them, the house with blindness. They couldn't see, the small and the great. So that they wearied themselves to the door. Even being blinded, they saw, they were seen at one point, the angels came and blinded the men. And in blindness, they are reaching for that doorknob. So they can still, in their blindness, open that door and go force themselves sexually in sodomy. A handicap did not stop the homosexuality. U.S. April 2011, 9 million homosexuals, bisexuals, etc. The LGBT. Call them sodomites. But I'm quoting from the, the sources. So the US population in 2011 was 311 million. 3% of the US population in 2011 was homosexual. Again, there were 9 million homosexuals. In 2011, New Jersey had over 9 million in population which ranked 11th of the U.S. population by state. So there are, if you were to take all the homosexuals, you could replace them with everybody that's in New Jersey.
The U.S. ranks number one of homosexuality. Recorded 15 million males had had sex with other males. They may call themselves homosexuals. They may not call themselves homosexuals. But they have had sex with males being male. That is 4.8% of the U.S. population. 2011. 3% say, hey, I'm a homosexual. 4.8% say, well, I've had sex with a male. I'm a male. Pennsylvania is 13 million population, ranks number five. New York, 20 million, ranks number four. You could fit the males having sex with males between the states of Pennsylvania and New York. And Brazil ranks number two in homosexuality. Now we'll go to Romans chapter 1, verse 26. For this cause God gave them up, God gave them up, unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use unto that which is against nature. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of women burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, men having sex with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving themselves with recompense of the error which was me. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, oh, they, the, the, the television crews may have, have a banner, you know, God loves us too. That's not all of them. That's his stage. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. That's God giving them up to do things which is not convenient. Being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy. This is America. Murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers. That's a Baptist church. Backbiters, Baptist church. Haters of God. Despiteful, proud. I'm proud to be American. Oh, I want nothing more. Boasters. Oh, praise America. Made in America. Inventors of evil things. Made in America. Disobedient to parents. That's America today. We did a study on that the other night. Without understanding greatest education systems we have in America, we don't know. They don't know nothing. Covenant breakers, without natural affliction, abortion. Leaving your children to defend yourselves. Impeccable, unmerciful landlords. Who knowing the judgment of God, that they could, which commit things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them. It's a pleasure that do them. Man, that's America. We'll see that in a moment. Now, this rate in the U.S. to 2021, rank number one is Alaska. Now, the reason why Alaska ranks number one with rape, there is lack of law enforcement in the state of Alaska. And I like that. I include that for one reason. There are people today, defund the police, defund, get rid of the police. Well, when you get rid of the police, one of the number one things that's going to happen is you're going to have rape. Number two is Arkansas. Number three is South Dakota. Number four is Michigan. And number five, Gambling City uh, State, Nevada. The U.S. homosexual rate among men is 26%, 44% women. There are more women proclaim to be lesbians than men to be gay in America I guess women got their rights women took a stand Genesis Genesis 19 verse 30 and Lot went out of Zohar and dwelt in the mountain verse 31 and the firstborn, the daughter said unto younger, Our father is old, and there is not a man in the earth to come in unto us after the manner of all the earth. 
Come, let us make our father drink wine, let's get him drunk, and we will lie with him sex, that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night, and first went in and laid with the father, and perceived not when she had laid down, nor when she arose. It came to pass the morning, the firstborn said unto the younger, Behold, I lay last night with the father, boasting pride. Let us make him drink wine also this night, and go thou in and with him, that we may preserve seed of our father. And they made their father drink wine that night also, and the younger rose and lay with him, and he perceived not when she laid down, nor when she arose. They were both the daughters of Lot with child by their father. That's in, that's coming out of Sodom. The girls' Sodom education they learn is incense. Have sex with a family member. Now I know it's not yet to happen, but Leviticus 18, in the law, the law forbade to be, thou shalt see the nakedness of thy mother, Thou shalt not see the nakedness of your sister. Thou shalt not see the nakedness of your aunt. Thou shalt not see the nakedness. It's full. Leviticus 18. It's a law of God. In the United States, legally, the, or the or legal ability of incense varies widely between, between jurisdictions regarding both the definition of the offense and the penalties of the commission. And in New Jersey and Rhode Island, Rhode Island is where our, our, our freedom came from. Rhode Island was the first state to have the Baptist principle. John Clark and uh, Roger Williams. The first Baptist church. Is in Rhode Island. It's not Roger Williams. It's John Clark. But I could remember the city. You can look it up. Incense between consenting adults 16 or over for Rhode Island, 18 for New Jersey, is not a criminal offense. Though marriage is not allowed in either state. So, Rhode Island and New Jersey, you can have sex with your family member. If you're over 16 or over 18, you can't marry them. Well, first of all, the law states, the Bible states, you are not to have sexual relations outside the marriage. And you are for sure not to marry a family member. They got their father intoxicated. The top 10% American drinkers, 24 million adults over the age of 18 consume on the average 74 alcoholic drinks per week. It works out more than four and a half, 750 milliliter bottles of Jack Daniels, 18 bottles of wine, or three 24 can cases of beer. In one week, or if you prefer, 10 drinks per day. That's America. Don't you go off on Sodom and Gomorrah and their evil sodomy. Sodom and Gomorrah had the same sins as America, and America sins. <laughs> and if God judged Sodom and Gomorrah in the nearing cities, what do you think God's going to do to America? He ain't going to bless America. No way! Because if God blesses America, he's going to have to apologize to the Sodomites and to the Gomorrahites. He's not going to apologize. We'll read on. The U.S. youth. These are all U.S. 12 to 17. In 2019, According to NSDUH, an estimated 414,000 adolescents between 12 to 177, I don't think that's right, I would think between 12 and 17, had AUD. What's AUD? 
AUD is alcohol. The number includes 163,000 males and 251,000 ma females. So between 12 and 17, 414,000 are involved with drinking alcohol. And God only sends 144,000 to the Jews during the tribulation period. There are more teenage drinkers than the 144,000 of the tribulation period. The rate of alcohol ED emergencies and death increased by 47% between 2006 and 2014. 210,000 alcohol related emergency and death. Approximately 95,000 people, 68,000 men, 27,000 women, die from alcohol-related cases annually, yearly, making alcohol the third leading preventable, preventable cause of death in the United States. Alcohol deaths rank third in America. The first is tobacco, and the second is poor diet and physical inactivity. In 2010, alcohol misuse cost the United States $249 billion. The intoxication and the usage of alcohol, $249 million in the United States cost. In 2010, the revenue from tax, alcohol tax in the United States, the tax income in 2020 off alcohol, 9.49 billion U.S. dollars. So we got 9.49 billion dollars from tax revenue. We spent two thousand four hundred. We spent two hundred and forty-nine billion on alcohol misuse. We lost two hundred and thirty-nine billion. There was more money that went out for alcohol abuse and misuse in America, the government, than how much the government collected in taxes for alcohol. Friend, America's writing checks she can't afford. And she sends people who bounce checks to jail. Where she has now put Americans in debt $239 billion for alcohol. U.S. microbreweries, I don't know what that would be. Regional breweries where they make alcohol and brew pubs per capita by state. At the end of 2017, there were 7,450 breweries, I can't say the word, in the United States, including 7,346 craft breweries, subdivided into 2,594 pub breweries. There's a lot of alcohol producing in America. There's a lot of money being produced in America. There's a lot of alcohol abuse in America, and we're losing money every year. Now, Ezekiel. Now, don't you get mad at me. I am reading the Bible, and I'm giving you the status. 1649. Uh, wave American flag? Never. I just got people upset. Ezekiel 16.49 By this was the iniquity of thy sister Sodom. Alright, here's the sins of Sodom. Pride. Fullness of bread. 
abundance of idleness was in her and her daughter. There were, there were more than just Sodom and Gomorrah. Name them all. Neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor and the needy. And they were haughty. That's pride. And committed abomination before me. That would be uh, incense, uh, sodomy, bestiality. Therefore I took them away as I saw good. You put that on America. You replaced God bless America. I took them away as I saw good. Alright. The sins of, of Sodom. Pride. I'm going to give you names of songs for America. Pride in America. This land is your land. Try paying for your taxes. What if someone sues you? I don't think the Native Americans can sing that song. You've got no rights over your property unless the government gives you a permit, a license. You see, you American Christians are so full. You don't realize you have been deceived by the doctrines of America thinking that you're free. That you have to go buy your gun license. You have to go buy your fishing license. That's not freedom. Born in the USA. The greatest men and women of God, much and many of them, were never born in the United States. The great men of church history. Yeah, there are some from America. Many are not. Most are not. They're from England, Europe, Israel. There's not one American in the pages of the Bible. Not one. Living in America. Right? Yeah, people live in America. America the beautiful. With all her pollution. That the Americans have done. All the trash. All the pollution put out. All the filth of idols. Taking a rocky mountain and putting four presidential faces on it. That's not God approved. God does not approve of idolatry. Stars and stripes forever. The stars and stripes are found in the Bible. The angels and the stripes of the scars upon Jesus for man and his sins. You're not going to find the American flag flying in New Jerusalem, my friend. And many of you American Christians, when you find out that the stars and stripes in America is not in New Jerusalem, you're going to be unhappy. Why is American Christian, why is American first and then Christian? Because you got more in America than you have in Christ. And I, now I really upset you. American pie. I remember that. Philadelphia freedom. City of filth and crime and rates. And yet the Philadelphia church period, the open door is now closed. I wonder what the ratio is of taverns and bars and package stores to Bible-believing churches. I wonder what the ratio is. Tell me, please, in comments, and be honest and give me the facts. And give me where the facts come from. Because I guarantee there's more package stores, more bars, more taverns than there is Bible-believing churches. And don't forget the grocery stores and the convenience stores that now sell liquor. My country, tis of me. My country. Stiley Hayward's country is New Jerusalem. 
This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. I am a pilgrim in America. I am an ambassador of America. My citizenship, my home is New Jerusalem. Made in the USA. You mean recalls? You mean broken down things that don't last? You mean things that you can buy on TV, buy on the radio, that just junk? You mean being swindled by products? God bless the USA! Go back and listen to the crime and alcohol and sexual perversion. You think God's going to bless America with the homosexuality movement? You think God's going to bless America with abortion? You think God's going to bless America with the drugs? And wait till we get to the religion. Where God, Jesus Christ, and the Bible are not publicly allowed in the public schools, in the courtroom. Oh yeah, you can bring a Bible into school, but you can't read it publicly. You can't teach it publicly. You can't have a true lesson. You can't teach the creation of God. You got to teach evolution. That's not going to be God bless America. Alright. Fullness of bread. How much food is in America is wasted? Each year 108 billion pounds of food is wasted in the United States. This equates to more than 161 billion worth of food thrown away each year. Nearly 40% of all the food in America is wasted. I work for a, a popular donut place. I'm not going to give the name. I was a shift leader. And I had a mom who had two children. And I don't know whatever happened to the, the, the father, husband, but and they were they were they were poor and she politely asked me if she could take home a dozen of donuts that we were going to throw out we were going to throw out i said we're going to throw out we had a lot of donuts and i said take two dozen we're going to throw them out she thanked me the next day I got called into the manager's office and I got rebuked and I got written up. I said they were only going to go in the trash bag and go out in the dumpster. I said what would prevent me from putting them in my car instead of the dumpster? They said we'll have you arrested. That they were going to throw in the dumpster. I was written up and I was told if I put them in my car I would be arrested. There were a lot of donuts that went in the garbage. A popular donut franchise you probably go to. There's no surprise that China is one of the most biggest producer and importer of consumers of food products. While India is one of the largest food producers in the world, its farm production is far lower than China, the U.S., and Brazil. The U.S. has one of the most sufficient, efficient food production systems. Despite having a significant smaller workforce than China, the U.S. agricultural production is almost as high as China. A nation that is anti-God against God. They'll put you in jail for preaching about Jesus. They'll put you in jail for for having a Bible and they are equal with the United States. The United States is equal with them with food production. And America 108 billion pounds of food is thrown out, wasted. The abundance of idleness 
The average U.S. adult spends $1,497 per month on non-essential items. According to one poll. That's roughly $18,000 a year on things that you can do without you did not buy. The average amount of time universally educated moms spend with their children is 120 minutes a day in America. The average amount of time of universally educated dads that spend time with their children is about 85 minutes a day. 120 minutes is two hours, that's 8% of the day. 85 minutes, or one hour and 25 minutes, is 6%. And there are many, now that's educated, college educated, non-universally educated parents spend about 20% less time a day with their children. And there are families in America today where the children don't even know who their father is. And there are children in America who, do, you know, mom takes off. And there are children in America that their mother has a meter on her bed as she sends her children out. I know I grew up with those children. I know about the child whose mother was a prostitute and the kids are outside and they can't go home until that car, that truck is gone. Two thousand sixteen entertainment five point six percent or two thousand eight hundred and twenty seven dollars annually. I know someone I can't pay I can't pay but my parent died. I ain't, I ain't got no money. <laughs> they taking two trips looking for a getaway weekend and a whole bunch of purchases. Now, if you ain't got the money, okay, but you had to go on vacations and, and getaways and your parent. 2018 in the U.S., there are 6,513 movie theaters in America. I wonder how many Bible-believing churches there. I mean Bible-believing. I don't mean the, the, the ones that say Baptist church. I mean the ones that believe the Bible and adhere to the Bible and love God and Jesus Christ. 6,513 movie theaters in 2018. According to the International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions, IAAPA, there are over 400 music parks in the United States. You know their names. And you know Christians go out and they spend all the time. We're going to go to. On the average, Americans spend 2.82 hours. Or 2 hours and 49 minutes watching television. 2 hours, 3 hours watching television. 0.74 hours. Or 44 and a half minutes shopping for goods and services. That doesn't say a year. That would probably be a day. Now, majority of Americans believe in God. More than 90 own a Bible. I don't believe. Not in 2021. These are old figures. Only half can name a single gospel. Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. Ten percent that thinks that Joan of Arc in America is Noah's wife, and that the no, that the Ark in Tennessee probably is, is is the Noah's Ark. Well, you believe in God. James two nineteen says, "Thou believest that there is one God." Americans, Americans say they believe in God. Thou do as well. The devils also believe and tremble. 
Americans don't fear God. Americans don't tremble at God. Neither did she strengthen the hand of the poor or needy. 2019, the individual donations of the United States reached three uh, 309.66 billion. Okay, but we waste 161 billion on food, and we. I don't have a price for alcohol, do I? Well, it, for alcohol misuse and abuse, we spend two, $249 billion a year. The annual, annual yearly private charity in the United States represents 1.44 of the country's GDP. I know. Religion gets 39%. Education gets 19%. Human services get 15%. Health gets 11%, overseas 7%, arts 6%, and nature 4%. In general, you can deduct up to 60% of your annual just gross income, VIA charitable donations, 100% if the gifts are in cash. But if you may be limited to 20%, 30%, or 50%, Depending on type of contribution, that's the IRS law about tax deductions. I was in a church one time, and the plate was being passed, and the person next to me, you know, took some money. I, I could claim that my IRS. People, some people give money to charity so they can get a tax write-off on their IRS. So in, in actuality, America pays for people's contribute deductions. I'm going to tell you right now, I have never, ever claimed any of my givings to the church and missionaries. I believe it's a sin. I believe if you put your what you give to the church and missionaries on your tax form, that is, hey, you got your gratification, you got your reward, you're not getting no reward in heaven. That's another lesson. That's another time. I believe it's a sin to tell the government. I had a preacher one time, you know, claim what you give to God in the church and tell the government what you do. Uh, yeah, God said, let not, let not thy right hand know what, you, what your left hand is doing. I may not quote that correctly. There are over a half a million people experiencing homelessness. There are more now. And there will be more now that these evictions are going to start happening. There are 49,933 approximate homeless veterans on any given night. U.S. military veterans. And the government is going to tell you, take this shot, take this vaccination, because we care about you, and you can't not care about your military personnel. I'm just giving you the status. That's all I'm giving you. HUD provides federal aid and local housing agencies that manage properties for about 970,000 families nationwide. The supp Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP, formerly called Food Stamps, is the nation's important anti-hunger program reaching 38 million people nationwide in 2019 and President Biden now said the other day he's going to up it more. Now here's the questions I have. How many of those recipients did never had a job? Now I'm going to give you these questions based upon my own family members and people I've known. So I'm not talking tongue-in-cheek. I'm talking actuality and factuality. How many of these people never worked a day in their life? Never filed an income tax? How many own a car? 
And I know one person that their car broke down. They ran down to the town office and went to the, the, the social services and they gave them money to buy a car. Don't you tell me. That car wasn't used for a job. How many own pets? There are people living. And now listen, if you need food stamps or SNAP because you're not making enough money, amen, get to help. Because American employers do not pay their employees enough money to survive. And American companies charge too much for the essentials for America to survive. God bless the USA! God will judge them. But there are, how many people have had in, hidden income? They're making money, but they don't re record it or... We had a family where we lived in, a, in a comp, an apartment complex, and they were wildly involved with, with the food stamps and, and all the things. And they were just frauding. Fraud the government. And me and a neighbor, we found the fraud helpline. We both called that, and we both filed paperwork. And we found out that there was an investigation. And we found out that they called the people to say, well, on such and such date, we're going to come over to your house and we're going to investigate if you. And during that time, they cleaned up their house and cleaned up the living, cleaned up and got the people who weren't supposed to be living there. And yet, when one year, when I was having a, uh, I was dealing with lawyers for a back injury for an employer, I was also informed by one of my one of my neighbors that there was a guy with a camera photographing me when I came out of my house and everything. Which I didn't have to worry. I wasn't doing anything I wasn't supposed to. And I called the police and I found out, knowing the police officer, that that was true. A company will hire a cameraman to get you for a lawsuit. If you've been injured on the job, if you're living on welfare, they won't investigate you. There are people on Social Security disability just because they do drugs. I heard that on the People's Court today. How many people cheat the system? I, uh... Let's jump to the next thing. By the way, the Supreme Court, Roe versus Wade, that ought to tell you enough. God's not going to bless America when you're killing babies. And listen, I guarantee, even abortion, I guarantee it was probably happening in Sodom and Gomorrah. One nation under God or in God we trust. The models and slogans of America. This is this is America. The Catholic Church, sixty-eight thousand two hundred thousand million, sixty-eight million two hundred two thousand four hundred and ninety-two members in America. The Southern Baptist Convention, sixteen million one hundred thirty-six thousand forty-four members. United Methodist Church, seven thousand six hundred seven million six thousand seventy-nine. 7,679,850 members. This is America. Church of Jesus Christ and Latter day Saints, 6,157,238 members. The Church of God in Christ, 5,499,875 members. Baptist, Presbyterian, Lutheran, Quaker, more Vilvian denominations, Episcopalian, Presbyterian, Pentecostalism, Churches of Christ, Christian Churches, Church of Christ, Christian Church, Disciples of Christ, Jehovah Witness, the Mormons, Eastern Orthodox, Christian Russian, Judaism, Islam, Buddhism, Hindu, Eastern Asian, New Age, Wicca, Agnostic, 
atheism, humanism, deism, spiritualism, but not religious. Native Americans' religions, neo-paganism, druid, United Universal Adventists, Christian Science, Scientology, Los Angeles, actors, actresses, sports, models, Republicans, Democrats, self and eagle, witch god. In one nation under God, in God we trust, witch god. The Catholic God is not my God of the Bible. Jesus Christ did not come to North America for the Mormons. And then when you look at the religions that came out of America, the Mormonism, the Jehovah Witnesses, uh, Mary Baker Eddy, just the name of very, very, very pin drop. And when you say one nation under God and gun God we trust, I ask you, check the yellow pages of all the phone books in America. Check the yellow pages under religion or churches. And I say, which God? Because it sure ain't the God of Israel. It sure ain't Jehovah. First Corinthians 8, 5. For though there be that are called gods, whether in heaven or in earth, as there be many gods, uh, there be gods many, and lords many. There, there's many. There's many. And there are many gods in America. And the God of the Bible is not allowed in Washington, D.C. The God of the Bible is not allowed in the churches. And the God of the Bible is not allowed in the schools. Second Kings. Second Kings 25 or 23. Second Kings 23, verse 7. And he broke down the houses of the Sodomites that were by the house of the Lord. They built Sodomite housing where the house of the temple of the Lord was. And the women wove hangings for the grove. Back when I grew up, that was that was that was the AIDS blanket. You know, everybody got together and wove an AIDS blanket. AIDS is the result primarily of homosexual sexuality. It used to be called GRID. Gay related immune deficiency. But we had to change that to protect the gays. So that there were sodomites by the temple, by the house of, the, of God. In the United States of America, these are the religions that have openly allowed sodomites, homosexuals, bisexuals, and people probably don't know the difference between male and female, they allow these people into their denomination. Here it is in America. The Anglicans, the Baptists, the Catholics, the Lutherans, the Methodists, the Pentecostals, the Reformed Churches, and others. And you're going to tell me, and I don't believe in God bless America, I don't believe in one nation under God, I don't believe that phony baloney, and I don't believe, you uh, know, this is your land, proud to be American, my country tis to be, God bless the USA. I don't believe in that junk. Because the people, the Americans, have gone against God, and more so in the churches. And including the Baptist churches. Where there's deception, and there are lies. And there's open sin. And as I close, let me read to you our church period time, and then we're done. Revelation chapter 3, Lad the scene, which means rights. I got rights. 
Revelation 3.14, unto the angel, the church of the lad, the scene is right. This is the last church age. This is our church age. These things saith the amen, the faithful, and the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy work, thou, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that thou were cold or hot. So that because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. And then let's look at that spew. I know you can't see it on Facebook, I apologize. But at 8, I don't have the 1828 dictionary. I don't do it in the Hebrew. Spew, to eject from the stomach to vomit. You know what you, the Laodicean church age, you know the church age that I am living in, that I am part of, we make God vomit. Revelation 3.16. And yet the church says, we are great cherry. We have a great passage. We're just wonderful and great. And God's up there. Ugh! And you hate the truth. Because thou sayest, I'm rich. That's what we're rich. We're great. We're wonderful. Increase with good. Oh, look at all the heads. Look at all the people. Look at all the pews. Look at all the fellowship. Look at all the chicken. Look at all the things we do. Look how great we are. Look at all the missionaries. Look, we have a great church. We have a great offering. We have a great pastor. We have love. Ah, yay, do that you do. And have need of nothing. <laughs> it's kind of funny because they're, they, they're the one. They run to Malachi chapter 4. You know, God's going to bless you. God's going to take care of you. God won't. You, you, you know, you'll have no need. God will fulfill all your needs. He will fill your treasures. He will fill your barns if you put into the plate. I was in a church like that. And know it's not that thou art wretched. Let's look at that word, wretched. I know, I'm sorry to the people on Facebook. You, Webster's 1828 Dictionary. Miserable, sunk in deep affliction and distress. Either want and anxiety or grief. You are grieving, anxiety, fearful. Oh, it's COVID-19. I can't go to church. Oh, I'm going to get sick. Somebody's going to sneeze on me. Oh, they're going to shake my... <laughs> I'm going to stay home and watch church on... Facebook. Oh, look. I don't like that message. Oh, I don't like that message. Oh, I like that. And miserable. I don't need to look that word up. And poor. You're poor in heaven. And blind. You can't see. And naked. Verse 20. Behold, I, Jesus Christ, stand at the door and knock. Is a church that the door is closed, unlike the Philadelphia church age, and Jesus Christ is outside the church knocking. Anybody want anybody want me in? Anybody want, want me? I ain't going in that church. You gotta come out to me. I know. Oh the, the sodomy, the sins of Sodom. Oh the wicked perversion. Yeah, it is wicked. Sodomy and homosexual. It's wicked. It's vile. But America's no better. And if God judged Sodom and Gomorrah, God will judge America. And America is not going to repent. 